Hello and welcome back. I'm Christy, the voice behind Crafty Christy's Creations Silhouette Studio Tutorials, which is a subset of Crafty Christy's Creations How To videos. This is the place to find step by step directions on how to do all the things in Silhouette Studio. Whether you're a beginner or needing a little refresher, this is the place for you. So grab your computer and open Silhouette Studio. It's time to dive into another episode. Alrighty, today's topic, the difference between group, weld, and compound path. If you are anything like me, these three things confused the heck out of me when I was getting started. I read over the manual a few times and just could not understand the concept of these three things. So my goal today is to break it down for you and make it easy to understand. I want you to walk away from this video being a champ on knowing when to use group, weld, or compound path. All right, here goes nothing. So I am using this Hustle 24-7 graphic and um, you can grab this over on my website. But when you it, upload it onto Silhouette Studio, it's going to come with everything grouped together. And how you know that it's all grouped together is when you click on it, you get this lovely bounding box and it goes around everything. Irregardless of color or anything else, the box will go around everything. So now I can go up here and click ungroup or with the object highlighted, you can right click and hit ungroup that way. I'm a big fan of the right click, so you will see me use that a lot. So now that we've ungrouped the items, you will see that the pink word hustle has its own box around it. And then the black 24-7 has its own box around it, meaning they are ungrouped. So that means now you have to click off of the items and then you can click on one and you can move it and it will only move that object. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo that movement. With this item selected, I am going to hold down shift and click on the pink word hustle. So now they are both selected. I'm going to right click and hit group. Now, if I click off, click back on, you see it grabs everything. So if I move, everything moves together. They are grouped together. Or what I like to compare it to is you have a single object, or if you want a couple of things to stay together, you can paper clip them, or you can throw a rubber band around them to hold them together. That is group. So I'm just going to make a little note over here group paper clipped, paper clipped together, Oop, if I can spell, boy, there we go, okay, I'm just going to scoot that over, all right, now let's talk about weld, weld is what you do when you want everything to mesh together into one object. Mostly we use weld when it comes to words. For instance, the word hustle is welded together because the U goes right into the S right into the T and then the L and then the E and they are all one word. So I'm going to type that word out for you 
And this means more in a cursive font. So I'm going to change the font. Um, And then let's give it some color so we can see what we're looking at here. Let's do that. And then I'm going to just enlarge it so we can see. Alrighty. So right now, each letter, they are grouped together, meaning they will move together, but you can see how the U, here's the end of the U right here, and it's overlapping the S. And again here, all the letters overlap, but if you send it to your, uh, to your machine like this, this is where you can see the difference. And I'm just going to try to zoom in some more here. So I'm going to click and zoom in. And I'm going to click and just hit cut. So now you can see the cut line. If you cut it like this, it's going to cut this U and then it's going to cut this S. So it's going to overlap and cut that U piece right out of this S. So that's what happens when things are not welded together. So let's go back um, and then let's look up here at this word hustle. Oops. I zoomed out too much. Okay, so you see on this one here Everything is united together and the and it flows smoothly so it's only cutting the outside edge. It has merged these two letters into one. So now on this one here, if I right click and hit weld. See how those lines that were through here have gone away and now it has welded or merged these letters together to make them one smooth letter. So now you can see that red line, which is your cut line, is only on the outside of everything. So that is weld. So we'll write here weld. Merging letters together. All right, let's tackle the compound path. This is the most complicated topic to understand. I really struggled with the compound path. In the manual, I believe they try to demonstrate this using a butterfly and showing you how each little piece on the inside of the butterfly wing becomes a compound path to cut the inside away. So the, I guess the easiest way to explain a compound path is taking two simple paths or shapes and turning them into one complex or compound shape or path. In silhouette, they refer to anything, any shape, basically anything where you're, okay, let's back up. You have your little endpoints. So anything that has 
all of your endpoints meeting together, which in layman's terms would be a shape, is considered a path. Even a straight line is considered a path. It's just an incomplete path. So let's think about compound paths as merging together, not merging, we already said that. Let's think of it as subtracting one shape from another shape. So, I have a rectangle. And I'm going to take this rectangle over here and I am going to fill it in. There we go. Put it around my word here and I'm going to give it a color so we can see what we're doing. And of course, it's going to show up in front. So I'm going to put it behind my other layer so we can see it on there. So to make this simple, let's think of our Hustle 24-7 as a shape. And this box is a shape. Now, if you took this to your send panel, Right now, it would cut out your rectangle, and it would also cut out the word Hustle 24-7, which is exactly what we want to do. If you really wanted to keep this simple, you could send it like this, and you could accomplish your goal. However, we're really going to try to understand this. So I'm going to grab both of these shapes or paths and I'm going to right click and say make compound path. And what it did was subtract what one shape from the other shape. It makes a cutout. That's probably the easiest way to think of it. Think of it as a cutout. No, compound path. Making a cutout of one shape from another shape. Alrighty. Let's do another example because I know this is, this is the one that I really struggled with. So, let's see if we can't, let's do another one and then we're going to kind of throw, try to throw everything together here. Alright, so again, I'm going to give this a color and then I'm going to make a circle. And I'm actually going to hit right click and duplicate oh but I had the wrong that's okay we'll put this down here I meant to grab my circle and I'm gonna give it a different color to make this easier to see okay and I'm going to duplicate my circle And uh, basically, we're going to turn this into cottage cheese. Or not cottage cheese. Swiss cheese. We're going to make this look like Swiss cheese. There are faster ways to hit duplicate. You can go over here <clears throat> to the replicate panel. And you can replicate one this way and one that way. And a couple down that way and then that will give you a bunch and then we're just gonna space them out on here 
kind of willy-nilly a little bit. Okay, so if I'm going to belly sur surround, grab all of these things, right click, make compound path. It cut all of our shapes out of our cheese to make our cheese. Now, you can see on the very ends here where it cut this shape out. We were over the edge. So let's zoom in here so you can see what it did. It made a different little path here. So if you want perfect shapes, be aware that you need to make this circle stay with inside this square. So now, and you see you could did it at the top too. So now you see we have our Swiss cheese piece here. Okay. Let's try to kind of work through all of these together in one thing. All right, I hope you're ready. So we've got these three little square, uh, so we have our three circles and I'm going to click each one of them and I want to align them perfectly center. Oops, not like that. I always pick the wrong one. Control Z will undo. So they are perfectly where I want them and I'm going to right click and group them together. Now see how that box is around all of them? So now as I move this, it is one, it moves like one object. We ungroup and then it will go back to being three individual objects. All right, so now I'm going to ungroup them. Now they are all individual objects. I'm going to overlap them a little bit. And then we are going to click all three of these objects. And we are now going to weld them together to make one object. Hint, hint, this is how you make your snowman. And then if I want to cut my snowman out of my rectangle, I don't know. So let's put it in terms of you wanted to make a shirt and you're putting down vinyl on your shirt. Say your vinyl is going to be this purple color and you want the color of the shirt to show through where all the words or images are going to be. This is where you're going to use your compound path. So that way when I click these two pieces and I make this a compound path, this is now the spot where the color of my shirt is going to show through. Usually we do it the other direction where you just put down the color of the vinyl that you want, but this is also another option. Okay. I hope that is clarified. We have gone over how to group, weld, and compound path. You are now a champ at these three things. So go and use those three things to create awesome pieces of artwork. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you did, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. If you are interested in purchasing the design used in this video, check out the link in the description below. Happy Silhouetting! Until next time, with love, Crafty Christie.